Heidi Hill, good neighbors. It is Monday, January 25th. Good Lord. I have tried for the last two weekends, at least, to film the video about the independent authors. And yeah, I keep coming up with a goose egg. I don't know what it is. I record, I feel more comfortable recording in the car while I'm driving than I do sitting at home in my living room. Makes very little sense. But I figure, you know what? Let's roll with that. So today I'm going to be talking about this author, Kurt Brindley, and predominantly his book, The Good Kill. So first off, Kurt is one of the independent authors I came across on WordPress. And it was his wit, his philosophical approach to the topics he was blogging about that caught my attention at first. And then, of course, he came out with a book or he talked about a book that he had written called, I believe it's How Not to Die in 13 Easy Steps. And I will, of course, all of this is, you know, all the books and things, authors that I talk about, all of that will be linked below. But anyway, so yes, so How Not to Die in 13 Easy Steps. And it was amazing. He based the book on an article he had written on his blog about having survived not only uh, leukemia, but apparently there's a side effect to one of the treatments that can be fatal. Wow, right? And um, so anyway, so he was released the book on the anniversary of having not only survived the cancer, but also surviving whatever this uh, condition was that he developed as a side effect to one of the treatments. It's a quick read, but it, it's just, it's very well done, right? And so after reading that, when the opportunity arose to get a hold of his first novel, I was there with bells on and man, when I tell you I was not disappointed, The Good Kill is, it's, it's like reading a really good gritty thriller. I mean, uh, it, it, it's, it's really, really good. And I will link the review I posted on Amazon for you. That'll be linked down below as well. So definitely recommend Kurt. Uh, he's, he worked on a screenplay as well that he was able to produce and turn into a short film. Haven't been able to see that so I might do some digging and maybe link to more information about that if I can find it as well but yeah so as far as indie authors are concerned you know had it not been for my association with him on WordPress I don't know that I ever would have heard about him and I would have missed out on the opportunity to read something that just I'm telling you this book woo, yeah you I'm glad that I did not miss this opportunity, but short of, again, knowing him on, or knowing him through WordPress, I, I don't know where I would have been able to experience such a well, well done book. So as part of being an indie author myself, you know, if it's not, if we don't get word of mouth per se, or if we're not spending how many hours and how many dollars marketing ourselves then we don't necessarily reach that reach that wide an audience and heaven knows that you know my little platform my little channel here probably not gonna not gonna reach that many more but I do definitely the few of you who who watch my videos I definitely want to uh, uh, let you know that this author and this book exists and that I highly recommend you go out get your copy and read it uh, if you are into the thriller genre you will not be disappointed at all so yeah I'm gonna end it here for today because I don't really have much else to talk about and I will be back tomorrow Tuesday with another one of my favorite authors to share with you guys so We'll see you there. Howdy ho, good neighbors. Here we are once again. It is Tuesday, 
January 26th and I am on my way to a quick little appointment haha at the Department of Motor Vehicles have to love doing all your administrative things in the time of COVID you have specific appointments you must wear your mask and there's only so many people allowed in the building and if you miss your appointment you continue can on Shiloh Road, Road for half a mile out of everything you need to get done so that's what we are on our way to do but of course I did want to pop in and talk about today's indie author and that is the brilliant mind behind the sci-fi classics um, <clears throat> dealing with my literary crush the time hopping in a quarter mile turn right British on Marine Parkway. known as Adam Kane. oh my goodness gravy Woo! like I was telling you in the other video my first ever lit crush he just I, and I can't even tell you I can't even describe to you what it is really about the description of this character Turn right on that just McFarland lights Parkway. me up just absolutely lights me up but anyway um, the author's name is of course John Charles Scott or Ch John C Scott and Continue I was on McFarland looking Parkway up for three quarters of a mile Excuse the little voice in the background if you can hear it that's my lovely GPS um, as I was looking up links and whatnot to the books it would appear that John is no longer producing uh, novels, which breaks my heart. Uh, I will have to dig a little deeper to find out where he is on the web and what he's up to these days to give you a, an update, but all of that will be in the description below. But in the meantime, let me tell you, I am not into sci-fi. It's not my genre by choice, but man, reading John's books is like reading a movie the 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 descriptions are just enough to give you a very clear visual but they're they're not so detailed that you feel bogged down like for example um I love Stephen King dearly but there are some times where his descriptions just they drag on and it's no I don't we didn't need all of that just cut to the chase sir but anyway John's book oh my goodness so Ghosts of Earth which is the physical book that I have and the others I have on my Kindle but there's The Legend of Adam Kane oh shoot and of course I'm drawing a blank In because a I'm drawing mile, use the but there are probably two maybe three more that I've read one of them is kind of a, a murder mystery which is it's like sci-fi noir it is so cool oh my goodness it's so cool of course book titles and such will be listed down below sincerely hope you can still get a hold of these books uh i if i can i'll reach out to him directly and hopefully provide you some updates on uh, if any of his work is still available but man as as an as an indie author i don't understand why more people weren't raving about his work i mean he just just brilliant just absolutely brilliant so yes john c scott john charles scott the Legend of Adam Kane, Ghosts of Earth. Oh, what can I tell you? It's 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 sci-fi written in such a way that I'm I'm for it. I'm all for it. If if other sci-fi that I come across was more like this, I would definitely read more of that. But anyway, um, you guys take care. I'm gonna finish Continue this drive, for half a mile. and I will see you tomorrow. Howdy ho, good neighbors. <clears throat> it is Friday, January 29th is the end of the month technically i guess we have two more days oh and gotta love the fact that february starts on a monday and ends on a sunday it's a perfect four week month this is just a beautiful thing for those of us who have an issue with how things end whatever anyway i'm babbling and i'm babbling for a good reason so today has been one of those days and i have decided that I'm done I am done I made the decision that I am closing my so-called business what this means is that the books that I write and self-publish will of course still be available for sale but as far as all the rest of this that I've been trying to do I'm done in the midst of struggling to bring you the 
indie authors book recommendations that I had been talking about for the last, what, two, three vlogs or whatever it was. In the process of all that, and I'm, I'm not even sure why I was struggling. One of the authors that I was going to recommend, I, I looked up and he's not writing anymore. And that kind of, I don't know, some that, that, that hit me some kind of way. And so I've been thinking about it and going back and forth and going back and forth. And I think it's time. It's time for me to face the reality that there are people out there who are killing it in terms of offering the services that I wanted to offer. So new writers across the board. I have all kinds of uh, people that I've met that I can recommend them to. So they will be serviced and they will be serviced in solid ways. You know, legit business people who are in a position to really help new writers bring their work to life, right? I'm cool with that. I'm good with that. I came to the conclusion that at this age and stage in my life, while I still want to work for myself and will definitely still be writing, I've just decided I don't want to work so hard against the grain is what it feels like. This is not this is not flow for me. Trying to be in business with the marketing and, and all of that good it just my life experience, my life history is that when things are if I may borrow and paraphrase several religious, not really quotes, but um, they say, you know, that if it's for you, then it'll, it'll come easily, right? And what my life has taught me is that is true. If something, if I am meant to do something, if I am, if I am meant for something, if the stars have aligned in my favor, then whatever it is I want doesn't feel hard. There isn't resistance. And what I've had for the last eight years that I've, quote, called myself being in business has just been hard. Not not in a, oh, I'm learning and getting better kind of way. No, it's just been hard. It's, it's, it's physically, I feel it in my body that I should not be doing this thing. I shouldn't be here. And I have, again, spent... Uh, shit, excuse my German, ton of money trying to work past that feeling. It's as if I was going to find the magic key that would somehow make me feel okay or would get me past this kind of discomfort. And it's just, it's not, no, no. When, when I'm supposed to be doing something, it flows. It's easy. My first three years in college were not my best by any stretch of the imagination and it wasn't because the coursework was hard it wasn't because I was lacking in anything in particular it was hard because I was I was pursuing a degree that I didn't want I was going to a school that I didn't want to attend and almost everything I tried to do was so I could gain somebody else's approval. And it was hard. I was depressed. I was a functional alcoholic by my third year. I had made a lot of bad decisions. I had endured a lot of unnecessary struggle. So after that third year, when I, I took a semester off, and during that semester off, I kind of decompressed just a little bit. There was some, a couple of traumas that had happened by that point as well that I, I would have benefited from maybe going to therapy behind, but that was not an option at the time. But anyway, so that, that one semester, gave me a bit of a break but then I had to go back so I was back at school for a semester and then I was on academic suspension and couldn't go back and so that second break that I was on I went I took a couple of personality tests as well as a kind of I guess like career finder kind of test you know 
said when it was all said and done, I went back, changed my major to something I wanted to pursue, moved off campus, got away from the people because I am not really geared for certain situations with, with a lot of people. It just doesn't work well for me socially. Once I did that, like I said, grades flipped and I graduated. And so when I was writing and producing my work, just because I love to write and produce my work, I was fine. As soon as I turned it into a business, it got hard. And I, I'm sad that it's taken me this long to admit it, to realize it. But by the same token, I am I'm glad that I finally did, and we can go ahead and let that go. I can I can now pivot and see what else is out there. Start plotting and planning what my next moves are going to be. So I still want to recommend the the indie authors that I was attempting to talk about. Those that are still producing, or, or those that whose books are still available. Right. I'll go ahead and list those in the description below. But yeah, short of maybe just talking about writing in general, I, that's pretty much going to be it. I uh, will keep my website because I've paid for it for this next year. We'll reevaluate when that bill next comes. I'm sure I will mention, as I have up to this point, relatively uh, or, or as casually as I as I and want to do that I have uh, another book available because I do expect that there will be more more writing but beyond that I think I'm good I think I'm good it's time to start looking at uh, what's next fairly positive there is a move in my future so that's it I'm gonna close out the vlog for this week on that note and hopefully I will See you back next week.